Oh boy, do I have a last minute tutorial for you guys. And when I say last minute, um, it's December 23rd. <laughs> so this, so as I'm sure all of you can probably read, this is going to be a last minute Christmas makeup tutorial emphasis on the but that's okay. We're here. We're doing it. I just wanted to sit down, get in the Christmas spirit because I don't know about you guys, but I have not been feeling very Christmas me lately. Um, I'm stressed. That's the only Christmassy feeling I have. Um, but I have my little Christmas cocktail, little Christmas mimosa. It's literally just Prosecco with uh, three cranberries in there, but I feel festive. I have my little Christmas headband. I got my fuzzy sweater on. I got my little tree back there. Again, we're two days before, but it's fine. It's not Christmas yet. There is still time. <laughs> um, this little hairstyle I got going on is really out of my uh, comfort zone. Um, so if you see me fussing with it a lot, uh, that's why. Because <laughs> I feel so, like, I don't know. Is it cute? I feel really, like, awkward with it. I want to be super nice and glowy, but I do want to be pretty full coverage this time around, which is rare for me but I'm feeling I'm feeling spicy and I'm feeling festive I'm sweating the champagne is like making me so I'm gonna start with the Auric Glow Lust um, in the shade Pyrite so I'm just gonna take that on like a brush I'm not using primer today I'm like over primer I don't think it does anything anymore I'm just using a really good moisturizer and calling it a day. So this is really similar, a similar product to like the Hollywood Flawless Filter in my humble opinion. Um, I think it kind of acts very, very similarly. And then on top of that, I'm gonna take the Dior Air Flash um, Spray Foundation. I've been really, really loving this. I love the combo of these two. It really gives that like full coverage, but still glowy and skin-like. Here we go. Okay. I'm also living out of another makeup bag now. I literally have three different makeup bags that I'm living out of because we've been traveling so much. <sighs> the holidays give me anxiety. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Refi um, brow gel stuff um, and I'm just going to comb it through my brows. You know the drill. Spike them up nice and tall. I'm obsessed with this product lately. Like it just it just gives you like the most full, like pretty oh. And I go the opposite way and then comb them up just to make sure that product is really distributed through the brow hairs. And then I'm just gonna take the other side, which is this little brush, and just slick everything down. So since we're going for a fuller coverage, I'm gonna go in with my NARS. Um, soft matte concealer and I'm just going to take this on a concealer brush which I haven't cleaned don't come for me I'm really just focusing it in the inner corner here just to brighten everything up and then I'm gonna do a little bit on the forehead and then the chin and I'm gonna hit right here as well because in the winter time I get really red around my nose um it's definitely a hormonal thing um but if you have that issue totally normal in women and then here to give a little lifting effect like so and then we're just gonna blend everything out pretty self-explanatory i feel like i go through the same step steps every single time i do my makeup all right i feel like we're looking Pretty, pretty full coverage right now. I'm happy with that, um, but still nice and glowy and skin-like, which is the goal. So this step obviously isn't necessary, but to cream contour, I'm gonna be taking, um, I'm gonna take this lighter shade of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the shade uh, Caramel, it's like medium dark. I really like these for um, contouring, actually. See, it's just like a little 
darker. It's not aggressive at all. Because I've been finding, I think my liquid contour or liquid bronzer color is way too dark and it's getting really muddy lately. And so I let this sit for about a minute or two, let it get kind of tacky almost, I guess. Um, and then I just tap it out. And I've just been finding like concealer blends. I mean, obviously it's meant to blend really, really seamlessly into your foundation. So I find it just sits really, really nicely. And then if it does look a little too harsh, I just take my foundation brush and I'll just kind of go back over it just to blend everything. Chef's kiss, amazing, I love it, it's so good. I don't know why it's always taken me so long to uh, cream contour with those NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers because they're obviously amazing, like I love them, I use them as normal concealer, but obsessed. All right, so for cream blush, I'm looking for something that's kind of pinky, but not peachy, I guess. Yes, this is what I need. So this is the um, multiple they're multi-purpose sticks um, from NARS, and this is in the shade Orgasm. And what I'm gonna do is take it right on the brush, just like a little pinky flush. Cute. And I'm really focusing that back here and then pulling it up. <sighs> All right, I'm getting tired from blending. I need a break. Now to set all of this situation, because my eyes are already starting to crease, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I really like this one right now because um, it's not really drying. I'm not usually, lately I haven't been like a huge loose powder person, but if I am, I like something like this. Like the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder is just like, so drying on me these days. I really, I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. And then I'm just gonna basically set my T-zone with this very lightly. And you can see it's not mattifying at all. It literally gives like a satiny finish. I'm not trying to take away any of that glow and I'm just tapping it into the areas that need a little more lasting power. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna take this Kosas um, Pillowy, that's the color, Pillowy, Cloud Set Setting Powder. Um, it's so pretty, it's so lightweight, and I'm basically just gonna set wherever else I need and this does have a color to it but honestly like I said it's so lightweight like I don't like you're not gonna get a ton of color payoff from this so like you can be pretty close to your shade it doesn't have to be the exact same shade and you'll you can get away with it like as long as you're within like one to two of like what your skin color is in the shade range like you'll be totally fine it's so pretty I love it. I almost compare it to like a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish kind of. It has that kind of like satin. And for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. Love these again, just a super glowy, pretty product. Um, and I'm really focusing on just bronzing, tapping it into the skin. I don't think I'm going to contour. I don't know. I might contour. I always say I'm not going to contour like I'm over contour, but then I do it. <laughs> so I am going to contour my nose though, because she be looking a little bit big today. Also not, I mean the shape is fine. Like I have a fine nose, but it just looks very blank in the center of my face right now. Um, so I'm going to take my Dior backstage, you know, the drill. I love this, um, contour palette and I'm just going to take the lightest shade and kind of do a little contouring. I was thinking about making a video for like how I contour my nose, but like everybody's nose shape is different and you can't like, you really just have to play around with it. There's no like one method fits all. Cause I've tried to copy some people's nose contours and I'm like, why the hell does my nose look terrible? And then I'm gonna go here as well. 
just because my lip filler is kind of disappearing on me and I need a touch up. So by adding a shadow under your lip, you kind of emulate that like pout a little. Just kind of emphasizes the shadow there so it looks like you have a little bit of like a poutier bottom lip. I'm gonna mix two blushes. This is so not necessary, not required at all. Um, I'm gonna take MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty, and then I'm gonna take this Tom Ford blush in Frantic Pink. This is really, really light, but I love the finish of it, so I'm probably gonna go in with this, like a little mixture of both. Um, and these are definitely more like of a bluey pink undertone, which I have to tell you, I've been really into. So I just filmed another video that is probably gonna go up after this one just because of like timing. Um, but I use the this Dior pink blush and I thought I was gonna hate it. I was really scared, but I ended up loving it. And same with the technique that I used. So I've been really, really loving like a nice pink blush especially for the holidays. I don't know. I think it's so like, just like rosy and cute and like, I don't know. I've just really been into it. And I'm going to take a little bit across my nose as well, just to tie it all together. See, like, don't you just look so like frosty and cute and like, ugh, love. And I bring my blush all the way up to my temples just to really blend everything together. So it's kind of like a seamless. We don't have like bronzer, blush, then contour. It kind of all just like looks like one thing. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is literally 6,010% optional, but I love it. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of freck and just do some faux freckles on my nose. So I'm going to zoom you guys in even further for the eyes because this is where it gets fun. So the eyeshadow look itself is actually going to be super, super simple. We're not doing anything overly complicated at all. So I'm actually just going to take this Joseph Colors Baked Brown Palette. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to start with this lighter brown shade here. And honestly, you don't even need to use eyeshadow you could totally use bronzer or whatever you have um you don't need a specific eyeshadow palette for this at all um and so what I'm gonna do is just start fluffing this in my crease and I'm kind of pulling it out to my temple then I'm actually just gonna take the little brush that's in here and I'm gonna take this like white vanilla -y shade and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. This brush sucks, but that's okay. <laughs> just so everything is kind of blended together. And that's literally all I'm doing for the eyes. So now I'm just gonna take some brown gel liner. Um, this is the Maybelline Elastic Drama. Um, it's just a brown and an angled brush. And we're just gonna do a little bit of a wing. So this is where it's going to get fun because I know right now you're probably like, this is so boring. This is the most basic makeup tutorial I've ever seen. So I'm going to take some lash glue and I have these little nail rhinestone thing thingamabobbers. Um, and there is a ton of different sizes. As you can see, I've used a ton of this one. Um, I've had these for a really long time. I use them for nails. I use them for makeup. You can use them for a ton of stuff. Um, and I literally just get them on Amazon. So I'm going to probably be using, let me turn it around so you can see better. Um, probably this size here and then this size here and maybe a few of these little guys. It honestly doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm gonna take an old eyelash tray and just kind of separate out what I'm looking for. Um, this packaging is an absolute disaster. I hate, 
I hate this packaging. Um, but I'm just basically going to dump a few out and hope for the best. Okay, so I have a ton of all the sizes kind of mixed up in here. I don't want to spill it, but they're all just kind of hanging out in there. So I'm going to take some lash glue now, and I'm going to essentially just kind of create a shape that kind of follows the wing over my lid. So it's going to kind of go up like this and then up like that. And we're just going to do like clusters of rhinestones. Um, and I'm using super tiny, tiny tweezers for this. So whew, pray for me. I'm probably going to speed through this part um, because it's going to take a really long time. So before I do that, I actually changed my mind. I want a little something extra. Um, so I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette um, and I'm going to take, hmm, I think maybe this pinky shade right here and I'm just going to pat that on my lid. Yeah. I just need something to like tie it all in. Now we're going to do the rhinestones. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> all right. So I'm just taking my little tray. I'm going to pick one up, dip her in the lash glue. And then pop her on. If you're wondering if this is the most tedious process in the world, the answer is yes. All right, this is like halfway, maybe halfway through. So I still am going to bring it down a little bit further here and then just kind of fill in any sparse gaps. Okay, so that literally just took me so long <laughs> that my camera died. Um, so while the battery was charging, I went ahead and did my other eye because I needed to focus to make sure they turned out even. Um, and then I just went ahead and did my brows as well. Um, what I am going to do is just define the inner corner a little bit more. I did with a little bit of the gel liner, but I just want to clean it up a smidge to kind of give that like fox eye vibe. And now we're just gonna go in with a nice, healthy coat of mascara. Um, I'm just using the Maybelline Sky High. I really like this one. It makes my lashes um, really long, so I like it when I go in with a false lash. And I'm just gonna curl, being very careful not to disturb any of those rhinestones. I'm really excited to get a lash on because I feel like this look is just it's, it's looking a little scary right now. <laughs> For my half lash, I'm just gonna take some of these Amazon lashes and just chop them up nice and thin. These are kind of a wispier. I want something a little bit more bold and fluffy just to kind of counteract all of the fun that sparkle we got going on. And on the bottom lashes, I'm actually going to be doing There's a parade with Santa Claus right outside my window now. <laughs> um, for my bottom lashes, I'm actually going to be taking a brown mascara and just doing a really light coat. And that's it for the eyes. So it's actually pretty simple once you get past gluing all the little itty bitty tiny little rhinestones on. For our lip color, I'm going to go in with this NYX lip liner in the shade Pale Pink. If I can get it open. That is a pale pink. And then over the top of that, I'm going to take um, this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Plumping Gloss. You already know the drill, Charlotte Tilbury in spotlight for highlight on the cheeks. Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting mist. And here we have our finished Christmas look. It actually matches my nails too. 
I did like a pinky chrome. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this maybe gave you a little bit of inspo for a fun little holiday look that's subtle but still a little bit spicy and glam. And I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Hopefully you will see me a lot more in 2022. We're going to try. But until then, I hope you guys